a warm welcome to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking to watch one of my videos if this is the first time you're coming across my content my name is kate and this is kate vlogs be sure to subscribe so that you do not miss future uploads and also don't forget to tap the bell so that whenever i post a new video you're going to get a notification welcome to today's grocery business in kenya video Grocery business in Kenya is one of the profitable ventures that you can decide to start in your areas because you are dealing with basic needs. This is a business that also does not require a lot of capital. With a capital of around 5,000 Kenyan shillings, up to 100,000 Kenyan shillings, you can jumpstart your grocery business in Kenya. You can decide to do retail or also wholesale. This is one of the businesses that does very well in an open air market. Having said that, an itinerant trader does not incur expenses like rent costs or a place where they are going to pay license. For you to start this business, you require empty sacks, crates and basins that are supposed to be used for storage purposes. possible construct a small kiosk that will be able to help you shield these products from direct sunlight because most of these are food items that are affected by sunlight as you know and also raising them from the ground will make them even better especially when customers are so concerned about hygiene purposes so this will help also when the customers are choosing their products from your shop most customers will not accept to bend down on where you have maybe placed your sack um, to maybe sort products that they want to buy from you Coming to the big question, where do you source this product from? You can buy this product directly from the farms if you are in places that grow this type of product. But if you are in Nairobi, you can get these products in Gikomba, Muturua, Kangemi Market, Roy Market and Gidorai. When setting up a grocery business, you can decide to do what we call specialization. You can deal with fruits and all vegetables. So when you deal with fruits, you can deal with ripe bananas, you can stock on apples, oranges, pineapples, grapes, strawberries. All those are products that you can stock in your fruit uh, business. But if you're dealing with vegetables only, you can decide to stock on green pepper, onions, sweet potatoes, tomatoes. Um, cucumbers, eggplants, arrowroots, peas, um, we have kale, spinach, cabbages, carrots, dania and unripe bananas including you can decide to stock also on maize and yellow beans. And these feelings start to change. The best places to set up your grocery business is near residential areas or a place that attracts a lot of people working on food. If you are into grocery business and you are able to chop vegetables for your customers and also make chapatis, samosas, mandazis for your clients, then you are sure you are going to pocket hundreds and hundreds of Kenyan shillings per day. In a grocery business, hygiene is paramount. You don't have an option. You just have to maintain a very, very clean environment so that I'm also attracted as a customer. I am supposed to see you using clean water to wash your vegetables and food before you sell to your clients. So you don't have an option but to maintain cleanliness so that at least you get return customers. You don't want cases where customers go home lamenting and complaining that you sold to them dirty food and that is why they are maybe having one major limitation of doing a grocery business is that you're dealing with products that are perishable and by the end of 24 hours most of these products will be going bad so always ensure that you stock on products that will be sold out by the end of the day if you're dealing on a wholesale, you can make sure that you buy a small refrigerator or also a freezer to keep most of these products, especially when you're dealing with fruits like apples, strawberries, grapes that require refrigeration to keep them fresh. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you. 
as a beginner make sure that you stock on products that you are very very sure are going to be sold out for example you can stock on tomatoes onions kales cabbages potatoes and maybe a few fruits like ripe bananas mangoes and oranges After stocking the basics, ensure that you also stock on products that customers will always come to your grocery shop and asking for them. Remember that in business we always say you should stock products that customers want. Remember that you are here to solve problems in the society around you. So you're supposed to stock on products that customers will be asking. The customer will come and ask you for avocado, others will come and ask you for grapes. So start stocking the other products that the customers are asking a uh, little by little and that way your grocery shop will just grow by itself for you to get return customers in your grocery shop always give discounts for example if i've come to your shop and i've bought tomatoes worth 100 shillings adding one tomato will not uh, get you into losses you can add one tomato and that will make a lot of difference i will always come back to your shop because i know i will get discounts um one thing you will want to avoid in your grocery shop is idlers that are just there to talk about passers by discuss how people are dressed discuss how this person looks like in uh, that dress you don't want gossipers in your grocery shop because this is a type of business that attracts a lot of idlers especially when there is a bench outside there maybe you have a bench for waiting customers and this might attract idlers so i will just urge you to avoid that because that will make you lose customers i hope that you have really enjoyed this video I hope that you have learned something from this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. It really does support my channel. And also don't forget to subscribe so that whenever I post another video, you will get notified and you will see um, my video in your notification panel. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you on my next one.